This is part two, y'all. I had to take a call for Sagittarius. This is part two for Sag, okay? So, there's somebody in your past who's very nostalgic about you. This could be somebody who you feel like tried to test you. Okay, this could be someone who played mind games for attention. Okay, they were creating illusions. Especially about things that they were holding back. It could have been information that this person was holding back. Finances holding back financially from you. This person could be a, be a, be a thief. Okay. That's why they're desperate. Okay, let's see. For Sag Spirit. Woo, woo. What does Sagittarius need to know? We got the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. Y'all could be dealing with another fire sign. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo. It can be an Aquarius. We have a Scorpio here, Gemini here. Okay. Someone can be really attracted to somebody that they're nostalgic about. This could be someone who wants to bring you this opportunity, this gift. Okay. We have the death card. Heavy on the Scorpio energy. This is someone who's going through some type of change, transformation. They could be going through an ego death. This is someone who's going through a mind expansion. With the death card, you see, he's expanding. That light, y'all might not see that very well, but it's like a light in the midst of this. It's like a sky, and there's a, a light that's beaming bright. Somebody's going through an ego death, but this is helping them to expand mentally, okay? Or they're healing the ego. Not literally, the, the, the ego don't literally die. You need the ego, y'all, but it's about healing it, being in a healed version of your ego, not that distorted, you know, inflated ego, okay? But there's somebody who wanted to play mind games for attention, okay? With the fool's car here, Aries energy, someone's wanting to take a, a risk, a chance, a leap of faith towards you. This is someone who's ending something of their past. They could have had someone who was clout hungry chasing them. Okay, that's what that chaser energy is. So this could be a vo an avoidant, a runner. But I really feel like someone has someone playing mind games with them for attention or for sex. Okay. I don't know why her sex slave. Oh my God, Sash. Somebody's into some kinky stuff. Okay. Could be you. Okay, I don't know. Okay, but somebody's... <laughs> Somebody's definitely trying to create some type of illusion about them being clout hungry, about them being greedy, materialistic, okay, a hoarder. All right. We have the three of pentacles. For some, this is somebody you worked or collabed with, okay, who was only working and collabing with you for the victory, for the success, for the attention, holding back information from you while you possibly were helping this person, working with this person. Okay, let's see. Something about somebody's work, too. Someone could have tried to publicly humiliate someone at work to play some type of mind game. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a masculine who's definitely spiritually growing, personally developing. Okay. They're growing wiser. This masculine is looking across the room at someone or eyeing someone who's not even paying attention to them. She's paying attention to her magic. She's a magical being. She's just paying attention. Ooh, look at that light. I'm not like, it shines so bright. Like, ooh, <laughs> I don't know. That's the energy is giving me, the vibe. And this masculine is just looking at her like, I like that, okay? Somebody could be holding back information about wanting some type of victory and success some type of win with someone that they're nostalgic about. Again, someone that they want to give an opportunity to. This could be someone who wants to give an opportunity to you. They find you to be very attractive, very magical. Your light, it shines so bright. They see you going through some type of change, transformation. Okay. Head into victory and success. You're winning. And then y'all have one person who's like envious of this and desperate to kind of win this, win, win this opportunity from you. And then there's somebody else. Who's watching you? It feels like two masculine energies. Let's see. For Sag, we have the Knight of Cups. This is someone who has romantic feelings for you. Somebody who y'all are in a relationship with or somebody who has romantic feelings for you can be holding back and stressed about them fantasizing about you. This could be someone who feels like they made the wrong choice. They could have been conflicted and confused when it came to this connection because of somebody of their past. They could have still been connected to somebody of their past, possibly that they were having sex with. Okay, this person could have been kept chasing them, chasing them. Could have had them confused 
about who to give this opportunity to, who to build with. But I'm seeing an opportunity for growth. I'm definitely seeing a mind expansion. Someone's healing the inner child, listening to their higher self, releasing the uh, the ego or, you know, uh, transforming and changing when it comes to the ego. We have the seven of pentacles here. I'm also seeing something coming to fruition, a new beginning, possibly in a relationship. This could be a work relationship for some. Now, for others, somebody had a work relationship that they were holding back about. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is someone who's taking their time when it comes to having this new beginning in love. Okay, let's see. With the Five of Cups here, Scorpio energy. But there's somebody who I feel like this person invested in that they feel like they resent for working and collabing with. This could be somebody who's really greedy, who, who, who can now be stressed. Okay, with the Eight of Wands here, this is somebody who's untrustworthy. Somebody was communicating to someone who was untrustworthy. Somebody was communicating the love that they had for somebody to somebody who was untrustworthy. This person could have said something to this person. And this could be why they're stressing about this information. Because they don't want this information to come out. About someone trying to create some type of delay for you when it comes to an offer. We have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius Energy to someone who's been dishonest. A liar. Trying to create delay. Someone's going to learn this. Okay. This could be someone who's been watching you, studying you. They're changing their direction, their focus. This is someone who's going to travel towards you. Someone who's going through an awakening. Scorpio energy. Trust your intuition. Pisces, Cancer energy. When it comes to a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone at a distance from you. Okay, or this is someone who's watching your manifestations come in. This is a karmic Capricorn energy. Okay, who sees that you're abundant. For some, this could be karmic family. Or somebody that you see as family that's karmic. Okay, and that is the truth. Truth and clarity. For some, somebody's a happiness hater. With the nine of cups, they're bitter, heartbroken. Somebody could be trying to create delays for you because they're bitter and heartbroken and they don't want you to see you coming to new opportunities. Whether this is a work opportunity or love uh, opportunity because I'm seeing both. I'm seeing both of y'all. Okay, there's a masculine who's been watching you, okay? And there's somebody around y'all who I feel like has been trying to play mind games. This is somebody who's close-minded, okay? But you, this is, I feel like, again, this is that resistance. Y'all need that resistance so that y'all can have this, uh, this expansion. And for some, y'all could be walking away from an opportunity. Or someone wants you to walk away from an opportunity. They want you to miss an opportunity. Okay, so be mindful of that. This could be somebody of your past who wants you to miss an opportunity. And this could be a loved one, y'all. Okay? But that... Oh, wait. Yep. Protect your energy. Leo energy. Protect your energy. Especially when it comes to you changing your direction and focus. You did the right thing. Someone may even move away. This is somebody who betrays someone. Someone betrays someone, stab them in the back, try to talk about them, Gemini energy, Cancer energy, Leo energy, and have them feeling rejected. Y'all. Somebody could feel some type of way about you moving or getting a new car. Okay? Anyway, though, I'm definitely seeing someone expecting some type of handout. They coming to y'all, asking y'all for help. So if they give y'all a sob story, it's because this person is learning a lesson when it comes to being materialistic, being in their ego. Okay, but that is the energy reading for Sag.